Philip, um, what are you giving us yep. for the coming week? Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was looking actually, actually at uh, a couple of things there as well um, from from a Sterling from cable point of view as well. Um, and, and I was in a camp uh, which believed that Sterling dollar could possibly end up uh, a year by at one forty nine. Uh, so, uh, because of the current changes, uh, that doesn't look as likely. Uh, but uh, I have a bullish bias uh, uh, in relation to sterling uh, against the dollar. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, it needs to break to the upside. Needs to go back higher in order for me to to uh, kind of engage with it again. Um, longer term position. It's probably going to be a gold again um this area here this shaded area here is definitely of interest for me because that's a 61.8 fib retracement of this swing low to this swing high you know this uh, position that i took in dow jones i took identical one in gold at the breakout of this area here because you see the same divergence here so it's the same setup double bottom higher low Stochastics, unemotional, stupid, dumb mathematical formula. Uh, this is filled with emotion, greed, and fear, and testosterone mostly. It's creating a higher low, and off it goes higher. So I took this trade, uh, and th this was a, a longer term daily falling resistance trend line here as well, and the breakout and so on. So I'm, I'm, I'm bullish gold. I was bullish gold, and I'm still bullish gold. Uh, I would look to find the reason to get in this trade long. Uh, I'm not getting it from a daily candle because this is really ugly looking uh, shooting star or there's like a pin bar here. You can't really see it from my drawings. But um, if I see a big reversal, um, a morning star reversal, bullish engulfing like this, uh, a dodgy, uh, a bullish hammer forming here, I would wait for something like that, assuming that it doesn't dip below 1755. Uh, an end of day or a weekly close below 1755 would definitely uh, spook me and I would walk away from I, I wouldn't trigger this trade. But if I see a reversal of some sort uh, later on today or possibly even next week, uh, I would likely get in as close to 1760, 1770 because of that 61.8. Uh, fib retracement, and I would be looking for a decent retracement to the upside uh, towards this zone up here, 1840, possibly even 1850, 1860. So uh, a tight stop uh, below, uh, about $10, $15 in price stop uh, with a view to potentially take profit at 1840, 1855 on the upside. But if I get a confirmation to get in, so so that's subject to the confirmation. I know it's difficult to kind of formulate that in 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 an order uh, because you're going to have these orders kind of uh, running. But um, that that's basically what it is.